Hey, Lawn Care Nation. In this video, we're gonna talk about when you should use contracts in your lawn care business. Coming up. So hey, Lawn Care Nation, in this video, we're gonna talk about when you should use contracts in your lawn care business. Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you click that notification bell so that you're notified right away when I make videos like this that have the potential to make your business grow. So, should you use contracts in your lawn care business? And if so, when is it appropriate to use? And when is it inappropriate to use? And are there any alternatives to using a contract? Hey, Lawn Care Nation, these are some of the questions uh, that you guys have been asking me in recent weeks. So I thought it would make a, a great little video just before this season starts. So as many of you guys know, on my lawncarebusinesssuccess.com website, on the resources page, I've had this uh, eight page landscape maintenance contract uh, available for you guys to purchase if you need help uh, with a uh, contract for your own business. It's pretty comprehensive and covers a whole multitude uh, of areas, pretty much blankets, uh, everything that you would need uh, in a contract for uh, landscape maintenance. But when is it appropriate to use something like this? Well, over the past 14 years in my own lawn care business, I found that using a contract like this, especially a large contract that's multi-pages, will generally scare off residential clients. So I don't actually even use this particular contract for my own residential clients. What I do use this contract for is for commercial properties where uh, using a contract is generally um, not only more acceptable, but uh, it's expected that uh, on those properties uh, because of uh, especially uh, access to the public in those properties. Uh, a lot of things may be liability issues with insurance and things like that. So they wanna make sure that everything is covered. The other um, thing to note with a commercial property is that uh, people don't live there. The owners of the property generally don't live there. They might have a uh, property management company looking after uh, all of the uh, you know, necessary uh, maintenance items that are required for that particular property. So they're not there generally overseeing all of that. And uh, you know, unlike your own home, where you might have a gardener or a landscaper come out to mow your own house, uh, you know, if you need your hedges done, it's pretty you know plain to see whether those hedges got done on time or, or you know uh, if they got missed. Whereas on a commercial property, because you know it's all uh, full of employees that uh, generally aren't really going to uh, you know be looking out for that sort of stuff, uh, that sort of thing can be missed. So having a contract in place that um, you know, clearly defines everything that that client is paying for and even defines things like when those things are gonna be done. When are those hedges gonna be trimmed? When are these uh, trees all going to pruned, uh, be pruned? Uh, you know, how often are you gonna be mowing the lawns? Uh, what's included with that? Are you mowing? Are you uh, edging? Are you blowing off uh, paved surfaces? Are you maybe picking up uh, trash that may be uh, lying around in a commercial property? Um, you know, what are you doing with those grass clippings? Uh, what happens with things like snow removal and stuff like that? So, uh, you know, a really good comprehensive uh, contract like that one that I have there can help you uh, with those commercial contracts. Now, what so the other scenario that I've used that eight page landscape maintenance contract on is to actually bid on those properties. I use it to quote those properties because it's so comprehensive and it covers all of those aspects of landscape maintenance. Uh, you know, it's fantastic for those stratas, uh, for those HOAs, for things like that, where you can just go through it and change the numbers. And even as you're walking a property, uh, be looking at it and have it jog your memory in what's required uh, for that property. So it's a fantastic uh, way to submit a bid proposal. So now with residential properties, what do you do with those? If something like this, something that's uh, as comprehensive as an eight page contract uh, is uh, you know, likely to scare away customers. Well, then you can look at something like a, a lawn maintenance agreement, just a basic, simple one page form. Now, what I've done in my own business that has been really, really effective uh, is that I started to step away from handwritten estimates and I started uh, requiring uh, or uh, submitting all of my uh, quotes and estimates um, through email to all of my customers, even if they are meeting me on a property and I'm there and I'm verbally telling them how much something is going to cost and they're agreeing to it. I'm also saying that I will email you uh, today with 
uh, you know, your quote in writing and everything that we discussed here. Now, the reason I do this is because I want to have uh, myself prote uh, protected and I don't want to have any issues in the future. And having everything in writing uh, is just a great way to do it. Now, also by submitting it uh, via email, it also makes it very easy to search and to find uh, in your email uh, program. I can just, you know, bring up my iPhone, uh, go to the inbox for my business and go to that top search and search that customer's name. And that email quote uh, is going to show up. And uh, you know, it's gonna show exactly uh, all of the prices I quoted if I need to refer back. Uh, so for example, if I'm quoting for lawn maintenance and hedge trimming and stuff, but maybe they want something like pressure washing or something as well, and I'm quoting them there at the beginning of the season, but it's something I may not be able to get to late until later on, maybe a month down the road or something like that. When it comes time to bill for that job, I may forget uh, you know, what I quoted them. So it's really easy to go into the email, search that customer's name, bring up that initial quote, and there is that quote. Instead of uh, like in past years where I'd have to go through invoice books and looking through pages and pages to see you know, where that quote was, uh, where I uh, you know, uh, quoted for that particular job. So it makes it really, really easy. So something the, that I've done is I've created a uh, basic lawn maintenance agreement. I call it uh, my uh, uh, lawn mowing or you know lawn service uh, email quote template, uh, and I keep it in my notes app on my phone. And every time I go to uh, do an estimate for somebody, I just go to my notes app, I copy and paste that uh, uh, template uh, right into my email. And then I just go through it and I change the prices of the uh, main services that I have listed there. So I have things like uh, lawn mowing and moss control and fertilizer. All of the main things that I do the majority of estimating on are already there. And for uh, you know 80% of the clients, I can just go in and just change the prices on those items because that's what they're asking for. If there's a different service that they want, say they want power raking or something, uh, top dressing or something that I don't, I don't do for everybody, well, it's easy for me to just then go in to that and edit and just add you know top dressing and with the price and stuff uh, to that line makes it really simple saves a whole bunch of time in typing now the other thing that that template includes is all of my policies so it includes things like dog waste uh, letting the customer know that they have to pick up all the dog waste before i get there on the mowing day lets them know that uh, you know there's a surcharge if they don't pick up the dog waste lets them know that uh, you know come uh, the fall uh, that, uh, you know, if there's leaves uh, on the lawn that, uh, and I show up to mow the lawn, that uh, I will pick up those leaves automatically and they will get billed separately uh, for those leaves and gives them the opportunity if, uh, you know, that's something they don't want to pay for, that they can, you know, know in advance now that as long as the lawn is clean before I get there, they don't get any sort of leaf surcharges. But if I show up and the leaves are covering the lawn, Obviously, it's going to take longer to mow the lawn and I have to bill for that extra time to clean the leaves first uh, before I can mow the lawn. Also covers things like uh, policies on trampolines where I don't move trampolines anymore. Uh, and the fact that uh, all of the services are billed uh, to uh, their credit card on file. And that's the only form of payment that I take in my lawn care business. Over the years, I've refined this and uh, have found that it's really, really effective. Uh, the other thing is that it makes it very uh, easy. It's cut and dry, black and white, however you want to call it. Uh, you know, if a customer were to come back to you and say, you know, you quoted me this, or you said this was included, where there's the original quote, and it's always there in writing, and I have a copy, and they have a copy. Now, another thing that I like to do to sort of seal the deal uh, with this, because obviously, uh, you know, it's not like a, a regular contract like this eight page landscape maintenance contract where you're maybe, you know, having your company sign it and then uh, having the customer sign it. And then there's a spot for witnesses uh, to sign the contract as well uh, so that it's sort of legal binding. What I like to do uh, is I try to avoid giving customers a price uh, when I'm physically on the property with them. If, you know, they're meeting me there. Most of the clients now, uh, for myself, I've filtered into my website. So when they're calling uh, my phone, I have a message that says that, you know, we're extremely busy. Uh, but if you want quicker service uh, to fill out the form on my website, I'm trying to get them to that website. And it's working fantastically just by having, you know, a message like that on the phone saying that, uh, you know, uh, can't return messages on a timely manner. But if you use the website, you know, we can get to you quicker. 
and it's worked. People have been going to the website and there I have a form that basically lets them put their information, their name, phone number, address. It has uh, so all the services listed. They can select what they want a quote for. They can leave some notes on, uh, you know, maybe some details that they want to let me know. But it also asks some questions about, uh, you know, uh, basically giving me permission to come onto their property even when they're not home. So it asks things like, you know, is your back gate uh, unlocked when we come to do an estimate? Are there any dogs in the backyard, uh, you know, when we come uh, to do an estimate? So basically it's, it's uh, uh, letting them know that by requesting an estimate that we will show up and come and do this estimate uh, at our convenience uh, when we can fit it in. Now, the nice thing about this is uh, that, uh, again, I'm not wasting any time and being really efficient. I don't have to, uh, you know, wait till a particular time uh, to go and meet a customer at a property and I can go there. But the other thing is that because the customer is uh, most likely, uh, most times not there at the property when I'm estimating, then it gives me that opportunity to then send that uh, lawn care agreement to them uh, with those prices outlined. Uh, it basically says at the top, you know, we stopped by, had a look at your property as per your request. Here's the prices, and then it lists all of those policies. And they will respond back to that email and say, hey, let's go ahead with it or not. And by responding to that email, they've now agreed to all of those policies. And again, makes it super easy uh, to move forward. And now you have an agreement with that customer with those policies saying, hey, it's a weekly mowing service um, that, uh, you know, the credit, your credit card is going to get billed once a month. We need your credit card on file. Uh, you know, the dog waste has to be picked up. Basically, all of that sort of stuff. So for me, in those two scenarios, that's what I use. I use uh, basically that email template, uh, basically a one-page uh, lawn care agreement uh, for residential clients and then for commercial clients uh, or for bidding commercial properties or larger, more complex stratas, then I use that eight-page landscape maintenance contract. Now, if you guys are interested in uh, any, any of these documents, that eight page landscape maintenance contract, uh, as I said earlier, is available for sale on my website at lawncarebusinesssuccess.com forward slash resources. It's on that page. You can find it there. Uh, as well, uh, the uh, lawn care uh, maintenance agreement or the email template uh, that I call it uh, is available for free uh, by joining my email uh, newsletter, the Lawn Care Nation newsletter. So if you go to my uh, website, lawncarebusinesssuccess.com and just go uh, to the homepage there, right at the top of the page, you'll see a section where you can enter your email uh, address uh, and there's also a section at the bottom of each page where you can do the same and uh, after a double uh, opt-in process to uh, confirm your email address you'll be sent a link uh, to download uh, a PDF of that template and you can feel free to copy and paste it into uh, you know a word uh, processing document and customize it and change it and then uh, have it available on your phone to be able to copy and paste into your email program and use that uh, for your own uh, quotes uh, coming uh, this spring. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know uh, if you use contracts in uh, your lawn care business and if you use them for commercial clients or if you use them for residential clients. If you like this type of how to start a lawn care business type video, I'll leave another one for you to watch up here in this corner, or I'll leave one of my other videos for you to watch up here in this corner. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.